what's going on? So, I did a, um, I did a video, or I did a collection of videos that was talking about how in Oakland, California specifically, um, only one in ten children, black, white, whatever, can do math proficiency at proficient level, and then as far as like uh, reading, only two or twenty percent of all kids could read at grade level. Based on how many kids read at grade level, looking at third grade reading data, determine how many prison beds they're going to need to build. So currently, about two in ten of our black and brown students are reading at grade level in across the city of Oakland, and it's about one in ten in math. I don't know. Now, for me, when you combine stuff like that with the fact that, like I said, Galvin Newsom, he slashes the budget out of nowhere. Not out of nowhere. I'll say because of a formula. The formula was voted on by <clears throat> parents, but it was based off of uh, state funding. And of course, you know, since there was an exodus out of California, that resulted in 25% lower tax collection than expected. And they dumped the the loss in revenue uh, onto the Department of Education. I showed in other videos, I showed in a couple other videos that in 2000, excuse me, in 2019, the Department of uh, Education lost millions, I think, if not billions. Nobody got in trouble. There was no audit to see where the discrepancy came from. So it's just, I don't know. So, to look at this more specifically, let's get into it. The issue is the voter-approved formula for how California pays for public schools, known as Proposition 92. The formula says the school will get a certain amount of money each year. California gives public schools $76 billion in the 22-23 fiscal year because that's why, what they thought the formula required. However, state tax collection that year ended up being 25% less than what the state had predicted, as I said. Um, Newsom administration says that retroactively impacted the formula for public school funding. Now says that the state was only required to give roughly $67 billion, um, a $8.8 billion difference. So this bad policies soft on crime, all these people leaving, resulting in less tax collection, now results in our children getting less funding already at a time where only in Oakland, California, where only 1 in 10 can do math at their grade level or proficiency, and only 2 out of 10 can read. So... It wow. makes me so nervous because I think, what are all the careers out there? You know, how do you, how are you successful in college or career if you can't bring your proficiency up to grade level? When I go to a board meeting, it is so rare that you actually hear how are students doing. Pro-immigrant, they're embracing, they want everyone to succeed, but our actions as leaders need to line up to that.